Oh, baby. I'm going to nail it to the wall. To the wall! So, um, let's embark on a fact-finding mission here, and I am going to nail it to the wall. Okay? Let's be platonic truth seekers here for a second. Now, I literally found like 25 sources online of incorrect information. Talk about the bucket analogy. You'll find it everywhere. And there's a lot of confusion about it, and there's um, a lot of videos on YouTube that uh, make mention of the bucket analogy. There's a lot of stuff online. So, um, let's uh, be uh, seekers of truth, okay? And uh, let's just keep things as simple and logical. Um, let's talk about the bucket analogy, and let's talk about misinformation, and let's talk about uh, correct information. Let me show you some analogies um, of something. Now, it is the case, now here we have a DX uh, crop sensor. Here we have a sensor from a point-and-shoot. Typically, the pixel pitch on a DX crop sensor on the photo sites is around, um, like on the D7100, for example, is 3.9 uh, micrometers. Okay, well, what about that? Nobody knows what micrometer is. I mean, how does this reference to talking about a bucket? Okay, now, I don't know, I grew up with telescopes. I even helped build a telescope. Uh, this is the main... Uh, base reflector off a telescope. Not a very big one, but you know, like a two or three hundred dollar telescope. We know that uh, like uh, the telescopes in Hawaii, you know, the larger they are, the more light they gather. We kind of know that, right? Okay. So let's run with that analogy and let's see where the confusion comes about. I'm going to call this video Kicking the Bucket. Now I'm going to kick the bucket and the balls. Now we're going to differentiate out a correct analogy from an incorrect analogy. If you want to talk about buckets in reference to photo sites, that is correct. If you want to talk about, as some people have incorrectly done, talk about a bucket. You know, here we got a bucket. Well, this is a jug. Well, this is a, uh, you know, a flask. Let's say it's a bucket. Single thing, incorrect. Okay, this is larger. Let's say this is a full frame sensor. Let's say this is a DX sensor, roughly about 1.5 times the size. Say these are outsides and they're outside in their bucket. They each contain an inch of water in the bottom, right? Well, we know from the base that this is larger, roughly about 1.5 times. Let's say full frame DX. Well, we know if we got an inch here of water and an inch here, that by volume, obviously, there's more water here if there's an inch here than there is uh, in volume if we got an inch here. But we're talking about one thing and one thing only. And that is where this analogy is absolutely, undeniably, and irrefutably incorrect. Now, it's easy to say one thing, and it's a different thing to give uh, metaphors and analogies so people understand them. So, here we're talking about one thing, water. But this is not analogous to a sensor, whether that's a full-frame sensor or a DX sensor. I'm going to clarify that very, very quickly. I'm going to make it so lucidly clear that if someone doesn't agree with this, and it's impossible to, dis to disagree with what I'm about to say, because it'll be irrefutable then, you know, you have some sort of mental defect or things aren't registering in your head. Well, that's, you'll get it. Let's just say you're going to get it. Okay, let's talk about a telescope. It is the case with a water bucket, okay, um, that we're talking about one thing, gathering water. And this is why it's an incorrect analogy for referring to sensors. It also is the case with a telescope uh, to refer to, uh, you know, one thing. Well, obviously we have a larger mirror, it's going to gather more light. We know that, you know, obviously, the big, big mirrors in Hawaii and Hubble Space Telescope, they got big mirrors, they gather more light. But we're only talking about one thing ultimately, and that's one eyepiece or one volume of water. But this is not applicable as a correct analogy um, for referring to camera sensors, and I'm going to show you why, okay? So why is that? Let's understand something really simple. Let's take some ice cube trays here, okay? Now, um, it is the case, not always the case, um, but it is the case in general that a full-frame sensor has larger photo sites. Now, say for example, the pixel pitch on the D810, for example, or the D4S, 7.3 micrometers. Okay, the D7100, 3.9 micrometers. And you can see these ice cube, uh, ice cube slots are a lot bigger on this one than they are on this one, right? This is also a bigger ice cube tray. This is a smaller ice cube tray. 
Now, what are we talking about? Translational image, translational information per square millimeter, in this case per square inch. Or what are we talking about larger? I'm saying that a uh, sensor is larger and therefore it gathers more light and therefore that's why we have better ISO performance on a larger sensor. That's not true at all. I'll get into that in a second. I'll make some quotes from other people and I found like 30 of these online. I mean, they're all over the place, just all over the place. So we're talking about millions and millions of buckets, not one bucket here. Okay, here's an analogy of one bucket, right? Here we're talking about one bucket, in this case one flask. Obviously, one inch is more here than one inch is here, correct? False analogy, okay? What do you think is going to happen? If I take this one, let's say this is a DX sensor, and these two together are a full frame sensor, there's ultimately more water here, correct? Okay, but are we referring to one thing in total, or are we talking about millions and millions of little buckets? Full frame sensor, pixel pitch, full frame, larger photo sites, larger millions of little buckets, or DX sensor, large, I mean smaller millions and millions of little uh, buckets here on the, on the DX sensor. Sensor size does not matter. What matters is photo site size. The bucket analogy is incorrect. Let me actually quote some information online that is incorrect. Let's just be truth seekers, okay? We don't have to be about, well, so-and-so said this, or so-and-so said that. Forget about that. Let's just be seekers of truth here, okay? Because back when I was in photography school, I was told something by one of my photography professors, and I repeated it a lot. And I thought it was right. Well, he's a photography professor. This guy is teaching photography. And actually some photo pro came in when I was working at Beach Photo and Video and I repeated that thing and I was flat out wrong and he said, you know, you're just full of crap. I didn't take it personally. He told me why I was full of crap. Okay? And I took it to heart. It's like, is this guy correct? Yeah, he's right. I checked his sources and he was correct. I was told wrong by my photography professor. I was repeating misinformation to people. I felt bad. I felt more bad that, uh, you know, my photography teacher at, uh, at Southeast Center Photograph Studies gave me the wrong information. He didn't give me tons of bad wrong information, but that one piece of information was just flat out wrong. I was repeating that misinformation. So let's be seekers of truth and not talk about, well, he said, she said, or, you know, blah, blah, you know. Forget that drama. You know, to hell with the drama, right? I think you'd agree with me on that. Okay, so let's uh, actually uh, talk about some stuff that I found, and I'm going to make some exact quotes of things that were said, and let's uh, seek the truth of the matter. Uh, bigger sensors have more square millimeters, therefore they gather more light. The bucket analogy cannot apply in regards to sensors. They cannot. Okay, this is what was said. Bigger sensors have more square millimeters. In other words, this is a DX sensor. Full frame sensors, bigger than that. Therefore, they gather more light. Obviously, this gathers more water than this does, right? Right? This gathers more water in totality than this does, correct? Obviously, but we're not interested in the totality of light. We're interested in the gain of each one of these little photosites in totality. So, bigger does not mean it gathers more light. Lenses, obviously, invariably crap out the same light. Lenses have no lens on Earth and no sensor on Earth. It is the case that every lens dumps out the same light, irregardless of what size sensor is underneath it. Uh, so the bucket analogy can't apply, so that statement is false. Um, other statements such as bigger and uh, smaller buckets, uh, oh yeah, uh, a bigger and a smaller bucket are in the rain, okay? Both gather one inch of rain, but in volume, the bigger bucket uh, gathers more water. This is the same way sensors work, uh, DSLR sensors work. Well, that's incorrect. He, uh, the, uh, statements like that are correct regarding buckets, but a sensor is not a bucket. There are millions of little buckets on this sensor. It is about the size of the millions of little photosite buckets, if you will. Buckets, plural, not bucket. Now, references like this in, throughout the entire sequence refer to bucket, not buckets. Okay? We're not talking about one, we're talking about millions. Millions. If one wants to talk about millions of buckets and their size, because these are, these are larger little buckets than these are. Let's say these are DX buckets and these are full frame buckets. Okay, this one has better uh, gain. Obviously so. But bucket, singular, 
doesn't apply. Does not apply to any sensor. For uh, micro four thirds, DX or full frame, not true. Not true at all. Um, it is the case uh, with the field geometry that the smaller the space, the higher the capacitance, by the way. Spatial geometry isn't field geometry. Simplex uh, Maxwellian field equations actually uh, uh, spell this out, but that's actually something far more in-depth. Gathering more light in absolute total, like a bucket, doesn't equal more or better images. Rather, better gain equals better images, along with better SNR firmware and other things. Um, statements that you can find all across the web and uh, certain places on YouTube. Um, statements like a larger sensor at the same ISO will gather more total light. These are all exact quotes by the way. Larger sensor at the same ISO will gather more light. That's not true. That's not true at all. A longer diagonal sensor has no bearing on the gain of a point of light at the center of the sensor. Only three things. Pixel pitch, i.e. photo site size, AD converter, and uh, the SNR firmware. Oh, actually, one additional thing. Given the same uh, you know, lens and all testing with the same aperture. In other words, we're using the exact same lens between a full frame camera and a DX sensor. A full frame and a DX camera. Same aperture, same everything. Okay, Same lens on both, right? So all of that being equal, that's incorrect. So a larger sensor at the same ISO does not gather more total light. It's like, well, sure it does. This is gathering more water than this does. This doesn't apply to sensors. This is more water, more ice cubes, than this is. Luminal density per square millimeter is identical. This, now these larger photo sites have better gain than these smaller ones do. That is correct, but we're talking about buckets here. If you want to make an analogy, a metaphor, we're talking about larger buckets, millions of them, versus these smaller ones. Larger sensors, the same ISO, gather more light in total. This gathers more water in total than this does. But that's one thing. We're talking about millions of points of light. Millions and millions of points of light. So the analogy fails. The analogy does not work. Um, another statement. Uh, this is why we see cleaner images with bigger sensors. The point is made that a larger sensor gathers more light in total, just as this gathers more water in total. Therefore, that is why the image is cleaner. This is why cleaner images uh, occur with bigger sensors. That's absolutely not the case at all. Absolutely not the case. We see cleaner images with bigger sensors because the photo site size is bigger. Okay? FX photo sites, DX photo sites. You see these little cubes are a lot bigger than these little cubes. They have better gain. Better gain. However, it is the case now that SNR firmware has gotten so good, like the new Canon 5D, the pixel pitch is far, is basically uh, in the Canon 5D. Canon 5DS pixel pitch, which is a 51 megapixel sensor, is basically at 4.14 micrometers. See, the actual case is that with, uh, whereas we're approaching 16-bit AD converters and uh, incredibly good SNR firmware, the advantage of huger, bigger antennas, because everything's electrical, okay? Your sensor, AD converters, it's all electrical. The advantage of the larger photo sites has not entirely been nulled out, but has been mostly nulled out. That is why Canon and Nikon and everybody are going to full frame size sensors with DX pixel pitches. That means they're going to be big old sensors, but they're going to have the pixel pitch or the photo site size of DX crop sensor cameras. Undeniable, irrefutable fact. It's written in stone. That is the pixel pitch of the Canon 5DS. The Canon 5DS pixel pitch is very, very close to most crop sensor APS-C sensors. Fact. Undeniable, irrefutable. Hardcore irrefutable. Um, so the notion that uh, we see cleaner images with bigger sensors because they gather more light in total, a bucket analogy, doesn't apply. It's not applicable. It doesn't work. It's not correct. Um, other statements like, more light in total equals a cleaner image. This is basically the same thing. This is incorrect because better gain equals cleaner images. Better exposure, for example. 
Okay, less noise. Better SNR firmware equals cleaner images. Larger photo sites, although this has been nulled out by SNR firmware, mostly, not entirely, but mostly, equals cleaner images. Better resolution lenses equal cleaner images. Faster lenses equal cleaner images. Better micro contrast lenses equal cleaner images. Okay? So like I said, now here's a quote uh, from someone online, um, not on YouTube, but online. This person says online, uh, there's tons of stuff on this bucket analogy stuff online, and of course it's all, it's all hogwash. Unless someone wants to talk about buckets instead of bucket. This is wrong, this is right. You're talking about millions of little buckets, you're right. If you're talking about bucket, like, uh, like uh, you know, one specific uh, thing online, uh, here on the tube, then that's incorrect. This person online says, what captures more rain, a bucket 5 inches or 20 inches in diameter? The larger the sensor, the more light hits the sensor. Smaller sensors need to be exposed longer to gather the same amount of light similar to the button. Totally incorrect. This is all over. This is not about anybody in particular. This is all over online. YouTube, online, everywhere. It is incorrect. It is irrefutable. It is undeniable. No one is going to attack this video and say, that tattoo schmuck is wrong because of it. They can't do it. They cannot do it. It is irrefutable. Um, something else I found on Photography Life. Now, this is a correct quote from PhotographyLife.com. Think of those pixels as buckets. Buckets, plural. That attract light particles. Of course, there's no such thing as a damn light particle. Light is electrical. You don't get any particles hitting your damn sensor. That's a, a stupid atomistic nonsense of quantum mechanics. The larger the bucket, meaning sensors, I mean photosites, the more uh, particles it can store in a given amount of time. Those buckets are known as photosites. And their size plays a huge role in sensor sensitivity. Well, it kind of used to. The same way the radio astronomy thought it needed gigantic ass dishes to uh, capture signals from outer space. But that's not the case anymore. They figured out that you use a lot, lot cheaper, a lot, lot faster, a lot, lot better. Use a lot of little dishes, like the VLA, the Very Large Array. Use a lot of little ones of these instead of a gigantic one, in case of radio astronomy, and use SNR firmware to dial up the noise. Noise has certain frequencies. That's what the SNR firmware in this camera and every camera out there does, is it dials out the noise. <laughs> dials out the noise. So that is a correct example of the bucket analogy, except it is buckets, not bucket. Okay, let's go on to video number two, and I will wrap this up for you, okay? Thanks. Let's be seekers of truth. Let's not reinforce uh, incorrect information.